The cell is the basic structural and functional unit of all living organisms and is the foundation of life on Earth. A cell can be prokaryotic or eukaryotic. Prokaryotic cells are found in lower organisms called prokaryotes, such as bacteria. Prokaryotes are usually unicellular. Eukaryotic cells are found in higher forms of life collectively known as eukaryotes, which can be both unicellular or multicellular. Unicellular prokaryotes include certain algae, protozoans, and fungi. Multicellular eukaryotes include many living organisms including both plants and animals. The eukaryotic cells found in plants are known as plant cells, while those found in animals are known as animal cells. A typical eukaryotic cell is usually a microscopic structure composed of a cell membrane with or without a cell wall that encloses a protoplasm. Embedded in the protoplasm are numerous subcellular structures called cell organelles, along with centrally located membrane-bound nucleus. A eukaryotic plant cell differs from a eukaryotic animal cell in the presence of a definite cell wall primarily made of cellulose in plant cells. A prokaryotic cell differs from a eukaryotic cell mainly in the absence of a definite membrane-bound nucleus or membrane-bound organelles in prokaryotic cells. In this video, we'll be preparing a temporary stained slide mount of a eukaryotic plant cell and make a rough study of the various parts of the cells that are discernible under the compound light microscope. For this experiment, we'll need the following. Onion bulb, iodine stain solution, glass slides and cover slips, droppers, tweezers and pins, a sharp razor or blade, blotting paper strips, glycerin, compound light microscope. To begin the experiment, take an onion bulb and remove an outer layer of the bulb. On the concave side of this layer is located a thin transparent membranous peel of epidermal cells composed of a single layer of cells. Using a blade, cut a tiny square on this layer. Now using a tweezer, peel off the cut epidermal layer. Transfer the peel on a glass light containing a drop of stain solution. Leave the peel in the stain for 2-3 minutes. Now blot out the stain from the peel and add a drop of glycerin or water to the peel. Gently lower a cover slip onto the peel making sure to avoid trapping any air bubbles. Observe and study the onion peel under low and high power of the microscope. Onion epidermal peel is composed of numerous compactly arranged elongated and roughly rectangular cells. Each cell has a deeply stained spherical nucleus and cytoplasm that surrounds a large central hollow vacuole. 